Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in iOS 7 and I am going to be showing you the top features of the new iOS 7. If you have been living under a rock somewhere, Apple has released the newest version of their mobile operating system, iOS 7. If you want to know how to download and install that, I might do a video if I have enough requests to do that. I also have some other iOS 7 tutorials and I'll put those in the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First and foremost, you're going to see a completely new UI or user interface. As you see there, it's a little more colorful as well as all of the stock applications that comes with the phone have been updated as far as their app icons and just their usability um, overall. Uh, the second thing that I want to mention is something that not a lot of people are talking about, but if you go to your music app on iOS 7, you now have something that's called iTunes Radio, just like Pandora or Spotify, but it's already built into your phone. I've been using it at the gym for the past two to three weeks on the beta and now under full release, and it is phenomenal. You just go to the iTunes Radio there, go to Start Listening, and you can create your own playlist, your own radio stations based around artists and songs that you want to listen to. That is an awesome feature and all of that is done under the music app there. Next thing that I want to mention is just the way you access things. So you can swipe down from the top of the phone to go ahead and get your notifications and calendar app and you can swipe back up to remove that. Also to get to your settings panel you can just go ahead and swipe up from the bottom of the iPhone there and now you have access to all of your settings. You can access your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, you can put the phone to sleep, you can even see what music you have playing and you can play, pause, and skip just like so. AirDrop is done from this screen as well. You have four options there at the bottom, one being a flashlight, the others being your camera, calculator, and stopwatch applications, all of that there at the bottom. You can lock your phone, adjust the brightness of your phone all from this one command center or control panel here. All of that's done by swiping up on your device. Now, another thing you may notice is the folders. The folders are a little different in that they are transparent there. So as I click on a folder like my photography folder here you will see it has a light green there in the foreground and then my dynamic background in the back and that transitions perfectly to my next feature which is the dynamic backgrounds if you want a dynamic background you can go to your settings by under under your settings option here and then go to wallpapers and brightness and then go down here and select choose wallpaper just like so and then now you have two options as opposed to the previously one option of just still wallpapers click on dynamic there and then you can select from a multitude of colors what this does is it allows you to have a dynamic wallpaper that moves so when you unlock or lock your iPhone you'll see those little bubbles floating around there and that will then show you now that you have a dynamic background I would like to see an app released hopefully soon that will have customized dynamic wallpapers um, that you can get more than just the original Apple ones here that are provided to you so that's an awesome awesome feature there maps newsstand all of those stock apps have been updated just like I said there uh, one other thing that I would like to mention under the iOS 7 um, mantra here that we're talking about it is in the camera app if you go to the camera app you'll see now um, as you can see there you can see my computer screen and whatnot so I'm not gonna get into that but you can actually change uh, down here at the bottom you can just slide over if you want to take a square picture slide over one more if you want to take a panoramic picture just like so so that app has been updated as well so go play around with the camera app and see what has changed so overall the look and feel of iOS is absolutely wonderful if you go up to the calendar application, you will see that this has been completely redesigned as well. As you see now, it's got more of a clean and sleek look to it. You can go ahead and select a month there, and you can pull up the month view. If you want to pull up a day, just click on the day there, and it shows you that just like so. So that application 
as with all of the stock applications that come with the phone, have all been completely redesigned. Now, if you go to your Safari app, you're going to see a few different things available to you here. Uh, you're going to actually be able to see where you can create new tabs now. You can create private tabs, whatever you want to do by clicking the addition symbol there. And all of that under Safari has been redesigned. You can create bookmarks, do all of that within the new Safari application. Overall, as far as my complete feel and just my review of iOS 7, I really do like it. A lot of people are talking bad about it, about it having a toyish, a childish look. In my opinion, I like the new update. New things are good. I don't mind change. So for me, I really do enjoy the new iOS 7 update. Uh, again, if you do not have this on your iOS device yet, go ahead and do that. Just go to iTunes and uh, download and update to iOS 7. I believe it goes to the i the iPhone 4 all the way up to the iPhone 5s and 5c the new ones that were just released obviously but I will warn you if you have an iPhone 4 I have seen it on an iPhone 4 and it does slow your phone down considerably so do think about that before updating uh, there are ways to retroact that and downgrading back to the previous version but that is a little more difficult uh, than it may seem uh, I one last thing that I want to mention is the game center app has been obviously redesigned like I have stated before it's got more of a uh, this one I don't really like uh, the way this one has been redesigned it seems like uh, the features have not been completely flushed out yet but again it has been redesigned as you can see here uh, it's got all of the different stuff here and it's more of a uh, bubble look to it here so if you want to see what games you have you just click there on the, the pink bubble there and if you want to see what friend request all of that stuff is done within the game center application so again guys this has been an overview of iOS 7 and the best features there for and if you have any questions about iOS 7 put those in the comment box below would love to talk to you about it kind of your feelings on the uh update and what you think about it and uh, if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel I would appreciate it that does help me out like this video share this video with your friends and family and I will see you guys next time